Hi guys, it's me, Tai Nguyen, your fairy gown mother, and today I would like to sit here and have a little conversation with you. A very, very simple, genuine conversation in reflecting of um, 2020. What happened last year to all of us, to the world? But to me, the five important reflection I came up for 2020. First, with this pandemic, it's very unexpected, nobody wanted, but it's affecting everybody in this world, including myself. But I am so grateful that my whole family, Kevin's family, everyone, my work family, everyone is healthy and I'm healthy. And so I'm so, so, so grateful for that. And just, you know, when this happened, you realize health is the key. Health is everything. And if you don't have the health, you cannot do a lot of things. So be careful, you guys. Please, 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 please be safe and just be healthy. Second of all, I think this is the time that you need to turn to your community. You have to support each other. I'm so grateful that I get the support from my family, from my colleagues, from the people, from my team, from different team to create the brand Taiwan Atelier and myself as Taiwan, your fairy gown mother. So support each other, be grateful to your team and just really support each other and stick to each other and build that, that team stronger. This is the time that you have to stick together and be stronger, to, stronger together. Third, I am so proud and so grateful for this year, July 1st, the day Say I Do launch. In the million years, I never, never thought my face, this face, Vietnamese American, Vietnamese fashion designer, Vietnamese American fashion designer have a face on Netflix. Therefore, I'm so, so, so grateful. And it's been a lot of hard work for over decades, almost 20 years. And finally, I have this once in a lifetime opportunity, this life changing opportunity for me to share my story, to share my passion, to share my talent, and use my passion and use my talent together with my two other brothers, Jeremiah Brandt and Gabriella Brodicini, to create this beautiful, beautiful story, to celebrate this beautiful love story with the eight deserving, deserving couples. To me, that is so fulfilling. My heart is happy and I'm so, so happy and I'm so grateful. I want to say thank you and grateful to Netflix and Scout Production and Larissa and the whole entire crew, the whole entire team. You guys really changed my life. Fourth, beside being able to, you know, let the world see who I am on Say I Do, this is a tough time for a lot of business, including my own business. But we all have to rise above. We all have to find ways to make it happen. We all have to find way to pivot, to change our business, to change our life so we can survive. And I change, I pivot, I turn to my passion and I create a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection for all of my friends, for all of you all over the world all race, all gender, all sexual orientation, my collection, my pride and my joy, your welcome collection, which is now available on my website, taiwinatelier.com. Last but not least, happiness. Doesn't matter what you do, where you are in the world, you have to find ways to make yourself happy. You ha it's, easy, it's easier said than done, but trust me, when you are happy within yourself and when you're happy with everyone around you, when you're happy with your personal life, your work life, your relationship, nothing matter. This panic pandemic doesn't matter. You will rise above and you will make it through. And guys, now is the, the end of 2020, the beginning of 2021. 
We made it through 2020 and we will make it through everything, okay? So I just wanna let you know that I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful for your all your love and for all of your support and everything will be okay. You all will be okay. I wish you nothing but the best for your health and for your happiness. Thank you, thank you so much, and I love you.